Hi, this is Jesse Knight with Anchorage Bed Bug Heaters. Welcome to the first video in our tutorial series on how to set up and run the bed bug heater package that you'll be renting. This is a super economical and great way to get rid of your bed bugs. This heater cranks some serious heat, and heat is the best way to, without poison, kill the bed bugs that are in your home. This first video, we'll be going over just some basic electrical stuff uh, in order to prep you for the unit that you'll be renting. Now, real quick, I am not an electrician. I'm going to be talking about some electrical stuff, but if there's things that I say that you don't understand or that you're not comfortable dealing with, you can always hire an electrician to help you out. Without further ado, this is our demo unit. It's a 1,000 square foot apartment, and it's ideal for our rental package setup in order to get rid of the bed bugs. So we're here in the kitchen, uh, and we can see off to my right, we've got the breaker panel. So if I open this up, you can see in the breaker panel, and we'll just cover a little bit of basic stuff here uh, on breaker panels, but we can see we've got breakers, and we've got a breaker map or breaker label. Now, each of these breakers corresponds with a breaker uh, on, the, on the label here. So I can see that our breaker here, number one, covers the den and lights in this apartment. Breaker three, because they're going to go down in sequence and down in sequence, breaker three covers the dining room outlets. If I go over here, I can see I've got a double breaker. This is a 40 amp breaker, and I can see here in spots two and four, it covers the range in the kitchen. Now, if you look really closely at these breakers, you can see that there's a very small number 20 on the end of these switches. That tells me that this here is a 20 amp breaker. This is important because I need to make sure that I'm not overpowering my breaker box when it comes time to start plugging extension cords into the wall. Now, each extension cord that you plug in, and if we look over here on our uh, heater, sideways real quick, I've got four spots for extension cords to plug into. Each of these extension cords is going to pull 12 amps. So my breakers are typically going to come in 15 or 20 amp uh, sizes. Now, 12 amps is less than 15 or 20, but uh, 24 amps, if I was to plug in two extension cords into one breaker, would exceed either 15 or 20, and that would trip my breaker. So let's say I've got uh, over here in my breaker box, breaker number one, den and lights. So I wouldn't be able to, because this is a 20 amp breaker, I wouldn't be able to plug two extension cords that go into my heater into the den. I would need to come down and find an additional breaker to plug into. So for example, my second one down here on the left is the dining room outlet. So I would take one extension cord, plug it into the den. The next extension cord, I'd plug it into the dining room outlet. Okay, real basic. So take a little bit of time to look at your breaker box, figure out what goes to where, and if you don't have anything labeled or things are mislabeled, don't worry. We're going to talk about that in the next video when I show you how to, how to label them if they're not correctly labeled or if you don't have a breaker map like this unit does. Okay.